15 football play leads to a freak accident for a Henrico High School football player. That's right. Tonight, Samar Lemon says at VCU Medical Center receiving treatment after he fractured his neck Friday night in the game against Douglas Freeman. While there's a long road of recovery ahead for the senior, Warrior Nation has certainly stepped up to show its support. Tonight on your side at 6, Henrico reporter Karina Bolster at that high school where practice is just getting underway. Karina. Well, Kurt and Makia, Samar Lemon's injury has impacted not only the players on the field right behind me, but the community as well. And now they're stepping up to show their support following this life-changing injury. It was just devastating because you don't know. And so when you don't know, you start thinking of the worst. Like many others, Henrico principal Karen Castillo Rose was stunned when she got the call Friday about Samar Lemons. It's really emotional. This is a kid that is out there doing what he enjoys doing and at this very point is at a, in a spot that's very difficult for him. So it's, it's very difficult to not be over, overwhelmed with emotion. Rob Welch tells me Samar's injury happened just before halftime on a kickoff return. Number 17 was on the field playing his position like he normally does when the accident happened. It was not a play that anyone would classify as dirty or anything like that. It was just one of those unfortunate, it happens in sports sometimes and it, and it, and it happened to Samar. That injury left Samar with a fractured neck and limited mobility. He was taken to VCU Medical Center where treatment and physical therapy are underway to help him regain functionality. But in his time at Henrico High School, you wouldn't just find Samar on the football field. Two years of football, one year of wrestling and three years of baseball. Wow, yep. that's impressive. Yep, and maintaining a 3.0. Now there's a long road ahead. While Henrico eventually lost to Freeman Friday night, Warrior Nation is giving Samar a huge win when it comes to support through a fundraiser. Every time I look at it, it doubles, but I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked because Warrior Nation comes through. Donations coming in from the immediate community, other school coaches, school systems, and even from out of state. And I've actually received a phone call this morning already from a mother from Ohio whose son unfortunately went through a similar incident. She was offering her support and letting the family know that the thing that got her through it early on was knowing that she's not alone. And Samar and his family are certainly not alone in this. The amount of support we've seen today alone is simply amazing. At one point, we did see um, the GoFundMe rise $10,000 in a matter of three hours. And of course, based on that GoFundMe, Samar plans to attend ODU in the fall and then enlist in the Army after that. Ahead at 11, Sports Director Mark Davis will have more on this story as he speaks with the coach and players of the football team about how this event has impacted them. Them. Live and on your side in Henrico, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. All right.